Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture. I am Architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you how to create a tapered wall in Revit. So in the last video tutorial, I discussed how to create a slanted wall. So those who have missed my tutorial, they can go to my playlist and watch how to create slanted wall in Revit. So today I am going to discuss about tapered wall. So I am going to my uh, view tab here and I will create a tile views and I am going to my level 1 and I will create a wall here a simple wall here and you can see this is our wall and if I am going to select this wall and if I am going to my properties here You can see this uh, cross section definition here. Uh, so this is vertical and if I am going to create a tapered wall, this will show error. I will tell you why. So I am going to select this tapered and it is showing error. This wall's type is not compatible with the tapered cross section. Set a layer in the wall type to have variable thickness. So you are required to first set these two variable thickness from uh, properties and edit structure. So I am going to close this. And now I am going to select this wall again and I will go to properties, edit type and I will go to structure and edit and then I will go to change the thickness and I will increase the thickness 1 feet and now you can see this option variable. So this box is unchecked so if you want to have variable thickness that means from top another thickness and bottom another and the higher part another thickness you can check this box i'm going to select variable here and and now i'm going to click ok so as soon as if you uh, select select uh, variable thickness you will see this option here default exterior angle default interior angle and width measure at top so you can change the angle here also and width measure at top and if you select this arrow you can see top base and bottom so I will tell you what is that so I am going to select top and I will not change the angle from here I am going to apply and I will click ok and now you can see this is one fit and now we will go to our cross section here and from vertical I am going to select tapered here I will click apply and now it is asking enable angle and it is available in 2022 and 23 and I am going to select this enable angle and now you are required to uh, set a exterior angle and interior angle so I am going to first set exterior angle as 10 degree here and I will go and click apply so you can see this exterior angle is changed and now I am going to apply interior angle and I will make it 5 here so now you can see this interior angle is also change so likewise you can create tapered wall and if I am going to my edit type here and I am going to edit a structure and I will select this variable again I will click ok and if I am going to select this width measure at top to width measure at bottom what will happen I am going to apply and it is showing error cannot create a wall it could intersect itself reduce the wall height or slant so now I am going to reduce the slant thickness so I am going to cancel this and I will first come here and I will select this wall and I will go here and I will change this exterior angle to 0 and interior angle to 0 and I will apply and now we will go to edit type and we will go to structure select the variable click ok and now i am going to select width widget at top to width widget at bottom and now i will click apply and can change the variable thickness and that is tapered you can create now and now i am going to select this and i will first set the straight angle to 3 degree and i will apply and see you cannot create a wall it would intersect uh, itself so reduce the wall height or slant so now i am going to create a one degree here 
and now you can see this is one degree cap part. So that means if you take higher values, uh, it will show error. So uh, you have to take the lower value like one degree, two degree, then only you can create slant and if you will make it two degree, again it can create but it will be very less, it will be very soft thickness here. And again, if you increase this to 5 here, it will show error. You can see, cannot create a wall. So it would intersect, it will show this both side will intersect. So that you are required to take the lower value. And if you increase the interior angle, so suppose I am going to uh, increase the interior angle, then you can create. And now also you can see this cannot create wall. So you are required to take in negative value. Suppose I am going to select minus 2 degree here and now you can see this uh, interior thickness is increased and can change the exterior angle also now I am going to take 3 and it is tapered here so likewise you can work in tapered wall and you can create a creative tapered wall shape so this was the tutorial for the tutorial session in the next section I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit so please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye